who he truly is. Underneath that scowl he usually wears, huh? he's been hiding this little awkward smile. Um... No, no. <laughs> Watch me. I guess this is goodbye, my love. Until I see you again. Take care. Ah, damn it, Kagura. I'm trying to brush my teeth. I wouldn't have to take care if you stopped squeezing, pinching, and hitting me every two seconds. Well, they're awfully energetic for so early in the morning. Yes, it's giving me a headache. So, have you figured out what Zodiac Animal Kagura is? No, oh, and for that matter, have you seen my morning paper? No, not yet. On both counts. Kyo, you big meanie! I'm gonna leave without kissing you goodbye. Good. I didn't want one. But... But I love you. <sighs> Kyo, you big jerk! I'm leaving! Kagura, slow down! The door! And there goes the front door. Isn't that the paper boy? What? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> I've got this. What? Good morning, sir. Lovely weather we're having, isn't it? Can I help you with something? Uh, yeah, I, I guess so. What was that explosion just now? Oh, yes. Sorry you had to see that. We've been testing some sensitive chemical compounds on our property here. Delicate stuff. We weren't expecting anyone to come by at this hour. If you had arrived just a moment later... Oh, that could have been ugly. So, as I was saying earlier... Can I help you with something? Uh, no. I, uh, I just came by to deliver the paper. Your house is kind of out of the way, so it slipped my mind and I accidentally missed it on my road this morning, so... Uh... Um... This paper here? Ah! Well then, I'd say your job is completed. Thank you so very much. I would advise you against being late again. Our house is out of the way for a reason. You understand. G gotcha. I'll, I'll just be on my way then. Have a nice day. Oh, crazy. Nice save, Yuki. Yes, you sure perked up fast when you needed to. Jeez, that was close. You need to watch where you're going, Kagura. I'm sorry. <coughs> How was I supposed to know there was a man in the front yard? The smoke had finally cleared. And well, I hope Kagura didn't mind. But she was so cute that I scooped her right up off the ground and gave her a big hug. Shigure, I figured it out. Kagura is the year of the boar. Oh, isn't she adorable? Well, <laughs> sure, it's easy now. Oh, I get it. She's impulsive and stubborn. Gentle at first, but ready to charge out of control at a moment's notice. It really does fit her very well. Yes, but it's kind of pointless to reason it out when you already have the answer. I'm impressed, Kagura. You make such a cute boar. You're probably the prettiest little piglet I've ever seen. Um, thank you? <laughs> I give up. She just looks so proud of herself. Well, I guess while I've got your attention, Kagura, I just wanted to say, I understand why you like Kyo so much. Hmm? There really are so many wonderful things about him. What? And just like you, I want- Kyo, you two- Ow, I'm out! What the hell are you talking about? Um, I can't leave you alone for two seconds! But Kagura, I thought you were going to forgive him if he cheated on I you. I never said he wouldn't be punished first. Jarpov's face bleeding, losing consciousness. No, no, that's not what I meant. What I was trying to say is, like you, Kagura, I want to see the very best in the person I fall in love with someday. Just like you have such powerful feelings for Kyo. That's all I meant to say. Just... like me? Yes, I really admire that about you. Oh, wow. She admires me! <laughs> Get off me and put some clothes on! My, my. It seems to me like Kyo needs some more training in handling the fairer sex. Not right now, I don't! Clothing! Now! Alright. I think that bus is yours. I guess the three of us should get going to class. Do you have everything you brought with you? I think so. Thank you, Toru. I'm sorry for snapping at you earlier. Can I have a hug? Of course! Aw, oh, you're so sweet. Well, I'll see you later. And I'll be sure to bring you a present next time, Kyo. <sighs> Whatever. Just get going. Bye-bye. See you soon. Well, that storm has come and passed, thank God. There was such a commotion yesterday I couldn't start planting like I wanted. Oh, are you planting something new at the secret base? Yep, yeah, strawberries. Strawberries? Really? I love 
love strawberries. Yes, well, I hoped you would. Oh. Come on, knucklehead. We're gonna be late. <laughs> gotcha. Let's go. For some reason, I feel inspired all of a sudden. I have an idea. Let's see here. Oh, huh? another cookbook, Miss Honda? Yeah. Always nice to learn new recipes. Now what else are you checking out this week? Hmm. Raising Healthy Veggies, The Ultimate Gardening Guide. And Passionate Souls, The Life of a Martial Arts Master. Oh, well, um, that's an eclectic selection. Are you taking up some new hobbies? I guess you could say that. Thank you, I should be heading back to class now. Anytime. <laughs> Take care, Miss Honda. I'd like to get to know them better. Both Yuki and Kyo. So I think I should start learning as much as I can about the things they like and the things they don't like. I like to see sides of them I haven't seen before. And I like to see them smile. Hey, Miss Honda. Yes? Yeah, I was just heading down to your classroom. Glad I caught you. You got a phone call in the faculty office. I'd hurry down there. Uh, okay, thank you. That's strange. I wonder who would be calling me at school. Hello? Grandpa! Well, hi, what's new with you? Oh. Right. Of course. Welcome home, Toru. Anything exciting happen at school today? The remodeling... is finished. What? I got a phone call today. From Grandpa. Your grandfather? Oh, that's right. I remember now. Yes. The house is all fixed up, so... It's time for me to move back in. I... I guess I'd better go pack, huh? I messed up. He knew... He knew I was only going to be a temporary guest here, but... I messed up. I guess... I made the mistake of thinking of us like a family. Next time on Fruits Basket. She left early this morning. I thought at least one of you would have tried to stop Just her. Just drop it, Shigure. It's better this way. Is it? Why? Looking back on it, I understand. A rice ball doesn't belong in a Fruits Basket. Episode 6. Welcome home. I hope you will visit my banquet again.